This is Carol Grace Anderson with Paw Prints of Wisdom, Life Lessons from Our Dogs. And don't we learn a lot about life from our dogs? And uh, tonight we're going to talk about the value of friendship. And friends are just such a treasure. We can't have too many of them because they take time and commitment and love and caring. Uh, but we're going to talk about how our dogs can be our best friends. And um, we talk about enthusiasm, love, laughter, how dogs teach us to be flexible and to live in the moment, to live this day, because this is all we really have. And how dogs can be a comfort, how uh, dogs can help us through some tough times. And so we, we like to, to share with you what we're learning about life from our dogs. And um, we're live from Nashville, Tennessee, home of country music and all kinds of music, really. A lot of jazz and blues and Americana music. We are just loaded with music here in Music City. <laughs> and uh, yesterday was the 4th of July. That's why we're coming to you today instead of yesterday. Normally, we would come to you on a Monday and Friday. So tonight we're coming to you at a different time because we were all celebrating the 4th. And in Nashville, oh, we have some big, big, big fireworks. In fact, they say they're the best in the country. And I think so. We watched them and they have the uh, Nashville Symphony playing music that goes and uh, kind of connects with the fireworks. And uh, they said there were something like 250,000 people downtown. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, we were watching it all. But uh, it, it's a very fun thing. And uh, 4th of July, I'm sure you have some great memories of your 4th of July because it, it's a fun celebration. I know some of you are watching from Europe and all over the world, so you may not celebrate 4th of July like we do, but uh, we, hope, we hope you celebrate. And um, so I want to share with you uh, this person I know, we're both uh, connected with the National Speakers Association. We both do speaking. And uh, he had posted this picture of his pugs. He, raised, he and his wife raised pugs. And yesterday they dressed two of them up for 4th of July. So I want to show you. See, we really celebrate, right? Isn't that cute? So thanks to Eddie Lee for sending us that picture and letting us use it. Uh, because it, it's very much Americana and what we do here in the USA. So I hope you had a great 4th. We did, and a lot of people on the 4th of July eat hot dogs and uh, cook out or go and watch parades. I know my family that lives upstate New York, every year they go and watch the fireman's parade and they go and watch the doggy parade. They had that yesterday and they love that. And uh, what else do they do? They uh, just celebrate. In fact, yesterday the family had uh, bought some steamed lobsters from the Lions Club, and that helps the Lions Club, and then they get to eat uh, steamed lobster. So I wish I had been there for that. <laughs> and they always end it with a beautiful either blueberry pie or strawberry pie. Oh my goodness. But uh, we just kind of settled for uh, grilled chicken and stuff like that. But we had a great 4th of July. and. On our show, locally here, we had Cheryl Crow. Remember her? All I want to do is have some fun. So anyway, she was the headliner, and that was fun to watch that on our local TV. Uh, here, say, I have two. Uh, Alasa, who thinks he's King Kong, and a German Shepherd who knows she's King Kong. I love your comments. Please keep them coming. Somebody has twins. Did your dog like them? Did they like the hats? I don't know. We'll have to ask Eddie Lee if, if uh, they uh, like the hats being on. But yes, dogs are family. My dogs are my best friend. I'm glad you sent that uh, message, Amanda Walsh, because dogs are our best friend. They really are. You've heard it before. And I want to share with you uh, some uh, here's some definitions I found of what is a friend. A friend is a person whom one knows, likes, and trusts. A person who one knows, who's an acquaintance. A person with whom one is allied in a struggle or cause, like friends of rescue animals. That's, that's what we are. And friends of all animals. 
And here's another definition. The definition of friend is someone who is on your side. An example of a friend is an ally in a protest. A friend is defined as a person that you are fond of and have full trust in. Isn't that great? So uh, I just think uh, friends are treasures. And I have some friends, and I know you do too, and usually we form friendships based on the history that we have together. Now, I have had a friend since I was 16, and we're still very, very close friends. In fact, we live uh, really right across a field from each other. We get together all the time, we stay in touch, and we uh, were on tour together as a band. We had a, a band called Ladysmith, and we recorded for uh, Columbia Records for about 20 minutes. That's an interesting story. <laughs> I'll have to tell you about that. Uh, but anyway, uh, we did a lot of backup singing. We had a, a wonderful opportunity and sang with Johnny Cash on an album. And we, we had a lot of fun doing shows all over New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Nashville. So, uh, in fact, um, I was with my friend Sharon when she met her husband. We were doing a sound check and that was many, many years ago, and uh, we were waiting for them to do their sound check, and we both looked at the guitar player, and Sharon said, oh, I really like that guy. I said, he seems like your type. Well, now they've been together for many decades, so it's very exciting. So to have a friend is a valuable gift. It is a wonderful gift, and I'm so grateful that I have some really good longtime friends. Because when you need, need a hand, when you need some support, when you need a shoulder to, to lean on, a friend is wonderful. And, and they are like family. And there's nothing like family and nothing like friendship. So when we grow old together, uh, there's nothing like it. And I, I found this picture today, and I want to share it with you. These are friends and you see that the younger dogs are on top and then how they age and they're still friends. Isn't that so much about friendship? We age together, we go through all kinds of things together and uh, I think it's very important when you have a friend. Like uh, in the words of James Taylor and uh, Carol King, winter, spring, summer and fall all you gotta do is call i'll be there waiting because you got a friend when we have a friend we have everything and we have a lot of dogs in our family we have seven in our extended family so we've always loved dogs in fact i can remember as a child we rescued so many dogs. We lived upstate New York and dogs would just show up and they'd stay there. They enjoyed it. So they stayed with us. So I, I've always uh, loved dogs and I'm so grateful. And uh, so I like to share what I've learned about life from my dogs. And I'd like to uh, read this poem that uh, was written by George Crabb. It says, with eye appraised his master's look to scan the joy the solace and the aid of man, the rich man's guardian and the poor man's friend, the only creature faithful to the end is the dog. And that's by George Crabb, isn't it good? And I feel that dogs are always with us. They're faithful to the core. They love us no matter what. Talk about unconditional love. That's rare, isn't it? And uh, I'd like to uh, share with you some stories that I found that are so powerful about the, the loyalty and the friendship unending of a dog. And I want to show you this picture so you can connect, okay? And I'll tell you the story behind this picture here, okay? And he says, in 2012, a, 70, a seven year old, 70 pound Samoyed Husky now, uh, the person who leads this network is uh, Bill Hellman, and he raises Husky and trains them, and he also trains uh, Chinese Cresteds and all kinds of dogs. But this was a mix named Xander. He was found outside of the same hospital that his owner was staying in. John Dolan got a phone call one morning on his cell phone. He was shocked when the person at the other end told him he was standing outside of the same hospital 
he was a patient in and had his dog. The dog seemed sad and had been moping around his house before deciding to do something about it. Xander made an arduous two mile hike to the hospital that included crossing a nature reserve stream and a busy four lane highway. But he wasn't gonna give up. You know, that's the beauty of a faithful dog. They are faithful to the core. And you know how when you just come home and they're so happy to see you. I mean, you could go out to the mailbox and come back in the house and they think you've been gone a month and they make you feel like a million dollars. Like you are the most special person on the planet. And that's the beauty of dogs. And here's another very interesting story about the value of friendship. See this dog? This was in Siberia, Russia. A dog has been coming to a hospital every day for over two years, unaware her master died a year ago. Her owner was admitted two years ago and a patient for about a year. Masha, the dog, has come every day in search of her owner, unaware the man has passed. Still, she comes, hoping to find him. A family tried adopting Masha, but she escaped and made her way back to the hospital. Now the hospital staff makes sure she's taken care of. So she became part of the culture of the hospital. Now they are her guardians. Isn't that a beautiful story? And I want to tell you how I met my dog, Cowgirl. And I want to show you a picture of Cowgirl. Because, uh, well, she's, she is pretty and sweet. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. So this is... I want to read you a page out of my book on friendship. Uh, the book is called Paul, Prince of Wisdom, and this is a page on friendship. What is a friend anyway? A buddy? A supporter? Someone fun to hang out with? A good listener? Someone who knows you well and still likes you? <laughs> All of the above. Dogs are dear, true friends no matter what. They're right there to listen. They're our silent partners. They don't criticize what we say or do. They watch us grow and we watch them grow. We have a bond. Why are dogs considered man's best friend? They're loyal to the core. They don't judge us, thank heavens. <laughs> they're endlessly entertaining. They're forgiving, they're protective. They love us unconditionally. Whew, that's a lot of reasons. Our sweet angel dogs teach us that the best way to have a true friend is to be one any time of the day or night and in any season of life. And uh, this quote by Christopher Marley, I added, no one appreciates the very special genius of your conversation as the dog does. <laughs> they listen and they, oh yes, that's wonderful. <laughs> so it's great. Now, uh, oh, some of your comments are great. One uh, person has a dog that'll be 15 in August on the 21st, Cheryl Gilchrist. My dog Baxter is my best friend. Jeannie Kelsey says, my dogs are my everything. I get it, I totally get it. And um, that's an awesome story, made me teary-eyed. Well, Cheryl, I, I hear you. And sometimes I get teary when I think of the love and the friendship that I've had from my dogs. So I, I understand that. So we can learn so much from having a dog. And I wanna read a few things from a list that someone has put together about what we can learn from our dogs. Never pass up the opportunity to go for a joy ride. <laughs> Allow the experience of fresh air and the wind in your face to be pure ecstasy. When loved ones come home, always run to greet them. When it's in your best interest, practice obedience. Let others know when they've invaded your territory. Take naps and stretch before rising. Run, romp, and play daily. Eat with gusto and enthusiasm. <laughs> I don't have any problem with that. <laughs> but our dogs love to eat and they love to celebrate. I know um, our, our dogs always loved crazy things like spaghetti and things that we were having, of course. But um, I hope that you will send us some of your pictures of your dogs that are your best friends and tell us more about them so we can post them next time. So please send them, uh, post them, let us know what you're thinking, 
and let us know if you like this. We hope that if you like this program, you'll click that share button, click the thumbs up button or the heart button, and let others know that you're getting something out of this because we love to share what we're learning. And remember that in about a week and a half, we're going to have some very, very special guests uh, visiting us. So uh, they'll tell us all about that uh, experience and I see that Kimberly is online now and this is going to involve her. <laughs> I'm glad you're here Kimberly. <laughs> so uh, we're out of time but we would like you to know that Paw Prince of Wisdom is available at Cracker Barrel, it's available on Amazon.com and it's also available in uh, Travel Centers of America. So uh, pick you up a copy and share it with others. And remember to watch Britt Savage, who is the Wolf Driver News person, and Dean Miller, who is the Dog Counselor. And there's so much good stuff on there from uh, the Wolf Driver himself. He takes all kinds of adventures with his dog. So check it out here on WolfDriver.com. Uh, and we'd like to thank especially the engineer who does such a great job, Mr. Coleman Murphy. <laughs> oh, you hear all that applause. Well, he worked that out, didn't he? Okay. Now, we have an important message that on Friday, we'll be back at our normal time, which is 7 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Central, this Friday night. We're going to have a whole new topic, so we hope that you'll check back in with us, tell your friends, and share, and like. There we go.